Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update on uranium. I'll give you my financial opinion and uh, we'll dive in. So here's the uranium futures contracts. Uh, we had this nice little pattern, jolted higher, and now we're getting more of a sell-off type pattern. Uh, the buyers haven't been as strong here, so we could basically go a hair lower to sideways is kind of what I'm seeing in the charts. And that's on the short, short term. Uh, the long term, it still looks really good long term. A nice large buying pressure, some selling pressure. Maybe we have a little bit larger pullback uh, before heading higher. It's a possibility. We got a little bit of selling pressure through these past two months there and a small little up month uh, right now, going on right now. The Sprout Physical Uranium Trust, we hit our head on this resistance line. We've been pulling on back. We're still. Uh, above this short-term pattern here. Uh, I'm just, we're waiting for the buyers to come in. Are the buyers gonna show up here uh, and move higher? That is yet to be seen. Uh, we do have a little wick at the bottom. Sometimes that's a positive with buyers com coming in and buying it up a little bit. We do have support uh, underneath here as well, uh, going across. URNM. Uh, selling off today, we are right at that support line. If you hit it from basically this guy, this guy, that guy, and this guy. So we'll have to see if this thing holds. Uh, if we cut through and break lower, which is a possibility, we may have a further pullback. We've got some support kind of coming across this way as well off these guys here. And it's okay to, if we dip a little bit below it, but we want to get back above it, similar to this here. Looking at, <clears throat> and if you look at this kind of fractal on this side here, so when I'm talking about the fractal, uh, we have, we, we came on up, we've got this kind of fractal here, and then a bounce up and over. Uh, that's similar to this fractal here. The size, the, the, the look of this shape. now. Again, we'll see if the buyers come in here and, and hit it higher. Uh, we're waiting for that. CCJ, it's still within this pattern. It's getting on the low side of this pattern. Uh, we're not quite to support yet, but we're getting closer. Uh, Bannerman jump, I guess, bucking the trend here, but uh, had an up day today. I'll extend this guy across. That line uh, is coming from, from this guy here. From these hits all through there, some support, some hits there, support there. Uh, Goviac selling off a little bit. <clears throat> uh, we haven't hit this this trend line yet there. Uh, we're getting closer. We've got, I'm just looking for other support areas to the left. We've got a support area somewhere in this range here, which we hit. We're right at that support line. So we'll see if we if, if we get some support tomorrow. Uh, but that's a lot of selling pressure and it ended quite strong today. Global Atomic, getting a little bit of a wick at the bottom, uh, still within this sideways channel, but more selling pressure there. Uh, forces getting a little bit, getting hit in the forces today. So it's selling off a little bit more. It ended quite strong too. So there might be uh, more selling pressure left. Pure point uranium, little wick at the bottom. We'll see if we hold there. Uh, deep yellow, one of few that are up today. Support underneath it, the little ways underneath it. Uh, Paladin energy, right at support. It's putting in the wick. That is a uh, hammer pattern. Hopefully we can start working our way higher. Sky Harbor, uh, moving down lower today. We are playing with that support line. We'll see if that support line holds. Uh, we can zoom out there. <clears throat> that line is hit multiple times. It's somewhere in this general vicinity. Maybe we can pull back up and put a big wick at the bottom here. That's what I'm hoping can happen. Hope isn't a strategy. I know. I understand that. Uh, Can Alaska uranium downtrend line. We have not broken that downtrend line. Looks like we're breaking to the downside here. Further selling pressure. This does look like it could potentially head lower. The next support zone could be 21 cents or so. Next gen energy. Uh, this is also selling off. 
we've got support going across here at about three dollars and seventy cents. So that's the next support area right underneath it. Base load, uh, another one. I'm going to go on log here just because I drew this on log a while back. Uh, we are breaking down to the downside uh, of this support zone potentially. We have to see what happens tomorrow. But all these are getting pretty good selling pressure in this in these sectors. Uh, FISOF, another one that's getting a little bit of selling pressure. You can see it on the monthlies here. We have support, the bottom there. Man, it's right on it. Because we got support coming through there, there. This upward was resistance. Got support there. But it's selling off quite quite heavily. And we'll see if that can hold. Uh, on, the, on the dailies, it's looking like we're trying to get a little bounce. But again, lots of selling pressure. Uh, fission uranium. Just kind of looking across here. We've got some support going across here. We're right there at that support line. Again, we'll see if that support line holds. Putting a little bit of a wick at the bottom. Uh, Kazatom Prom, large selling pressure today to the downside. Uh, Peninsula Energy, large selling pressure today. Downside. Uh, big picture, or bigger picture. Uh, we're right there, heading a little bit lower. Still above the trend line, though. Boss Energy selling off some, uh, zooming in on it. We still have this support area below it through here. We've got Consolidated Uranium selling off today, again, above the support zone. Lotus Resources uh, right at support here. Let me get this white one out of there. Basically at support, and we'll see if that support holds. A little wick at the bottom. That's good. It means buyers are some buyers are coming in and buying up a little bit. I mean, it's not good from the, you know, having a down day today. But uh, Uroy has been bouncing sideways, still above this support line going across there. Encore Energy selling off some. Uh, we are still unable to hold above this support area. We do have a bullish engulfing here. We have a hammer cat pattern here, and then we had a sell off day today. So. Buyers and sellers are duking it out at this at this level. You 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 been selling me off. What the heck? Uh, again, we've got this pullback uh, ensuing. It's down quite big. We've finished pretty strong to the downside. Our next support's at 375, uh, which is down quite a ways. That's our support going across. We've broken out of this channel, uh, increasing channel. URG uh, right on support. We've got UEC, good sell-off today. We've got the support, the bottom of that support line. Let me see here if I can move that higher a little bit. Could be somewhere in that range there. Two, 290 or so. Uh, LEU selling off a little bit. We could see a little bit further pullback. Uh, the, the buyers are not coming in here. They are not mustering any sort of uh, move higher yet. LTPR, getting a little bit of wick at the bottom. Looks like there's some buyers down there. Uh, ISO Energy, still selling off. We could be breaking these, these support lines to the downside. We could see further downside here, guys, if buyers don't show back up. Appy Energy, finding some support. It's right there on the trend on the uh, support line. Denison Mine, selling off today. Uh, that's right, close to support in that general vicinity. Blue Sky Uranium selling off right on support. We'll see if that support holds. Form Energy Metals getting a little bit of a sell-off today. Uh, Anfield also selling off, coming to support here shortly. Laramide at least getting a little bit of stabilization today. The opening and closing price uh, basically the same, small little candlestick. Western Uranium Vanadium selling off. We've got UEX pulling back. That could pull back further. <clears throat> It's going to trade whatever UEC trades. Mega Uranium holding its own right where it's at. Standard Uranium moving down a little bit. Oh, sideways today, I should say. Uh, Valor Metals right on support. We'll see if that support holds. Uh, Elevate getting sold off today right at this other line of support going across here. And then 92E. Uh, looks like it was a down day today. It was higher yesterday, but or a couple of tradings, but 
head lower for 92E. Um, charts don't look too great, guys, for, for uranium. Uh, the ratios are still screaming a buy. The uranium futures price doesn't look too bad, but the mining companies, you know, some of them are really under pressure. They're starting to break to the downside. We could see further downside here. That is a possibility. I'm looking for buyers to step in and buy, but, you know, that's just what I'm waiting to, to see. I haven't seen it yet. So the sellers are in control in a lot of these companies. They're putting in some fat candlesticks. They are closing uh, strongly to the downside. Now, am I going to do anything with my shares? I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything because the market conditions are still ripe. Uh, the market conditions in terms of the inflation, increasing interest rates, all of those things. Now, why are we not seeing these go up? Why are they selling off with everything else? Well, people are scared. They're transitioning into cash. Uh, bonds are selling off like mad. So I don't think this is a deflationary type of event. Uh, it's inflationary. And inflation is causing interest rates to, to head on higher. And it's putting pressure on all sorts of the markets. Uh, the rates are also increasing quite dramatically uh, at a very quick pace. So that's also something uh, to, to look at. But um, <clears throat> again, I'm just holding course. Uh, the, the ratios tell me to hold course. We have an energy crisis still that hasn't gone away. The fundamentals are still good. So I'm going to continue to stay uh, long in it. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe to the website. The Platinum membership below is what you want. I'll continue to give updates. And uh, if you guys want to see my thesis and everything, you can check in the uh, website and learn kind of a, a bunch of different information on the financial education stuff. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.